here we are in week eight. You can see that I've got my 165 weeks here and I've already uploaded week eight. I'm going to begin by looking at my txt file. I'm going to try to avoid the directions for now, see how far I can get without them. I think that's what you should do because this is a midterm review. I also recommend that you do this exercise two or, two or three times just to get the good practice you need for the midterm. I'm going to start by saving it as an HTML document. And then I'll get in my tags that you know we need. I'm going to return and go up a line so I can start my doc type right here. And then get my HTML. I'm hoping that by now these tags are second nature to you. And let me shut the door on that tag. Always, the minute you type the start tag, go down and type the end tag. Ah, so we'll begin with the head tags. We'll slip the title in there. And I'll copy this because it looks like the title of the site. And under the head tags, we'll get the body tags. So we've got our good start. I'm going to close the body tag. And now I'll just preview this information. It looks like here's a title, here's a definition. And then this looks like a list. I mean, the way it's set up, it could be a DL, right? A description list. But people don't really use that tag anymore, and I'm not sure I would want this indent. I'm not sure. But I could easily call that an H1. So I'll start there. And I could easily call this a P, so I'll start there. I may want to come back and reformat this. It's the middle of a sentence, R, and then it goes on, so I've got to leave that colon there. I'll call this an H2. And this is not the middle of a sentence, so I'm going to get rid of that colon. This is a P. H2. Just staying as consistent as I can because that creates unity. Repetition creates unity, right? I didn't quite have my cursor where I wanted it, so I'll push it down. And then I'll beautify this in a second. Does it look like I closed that? There we go. Looks like there's two P's in here. This might be my last. Nope. I'm remembering now about this site. It's very it's a long list. And this also looks like two paragraphs. And this is the last paragraph, but I see there's something else at the bottom. It looks like a bunch of web links that we'll want to deal with. Hmm, looks like there's two paragraphs here. So yeah, studying your information. You don't want to format it without knowing what it is. And then related links, note, blah, 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 blah. Let's get rid of that and give this an H2. And it looks like this is a list. And it looks like an unordered list, so we'll give it that tag. Close it first, and then get our list items in. So the list, and I think the best way to start this is to separate each of the web links. Uh, so that we can format our list easily. Uh, let's get the LIs in. Mm 
and then let's close them. Ooh, pardon me. So just a quick look to make sure everything starts and ends. I don't know what that big gap is. That looks good. And let's just save and refresh. So we would never want to see a li list like this with links. We would want these to be live links. So we know that's the A tag, right? So each LI item. I'm going to even make a little more space so that formatting these won't be confusing. So each li will begin with the a href equals. And I'll just put that in both, in all four. a href equals quote mark. a, oops, yeah href equals and the same thing here a href equals so it's in between those two quote marks that we want this information so I'll just delete that quote mark and put it here same with this I'm kind of doing these one at a time because it's uh, like production line work Did I close each one? No, I didn't close that one. Or that one. There we go. Now, of course, we need our closing A tag. And then we're going to need some text in between the two, the start tag and the end tag. So for now, I'm going to put click me or click here. And that's just going to be placeholder text so that I can actually go to each of these links and decide what to put there as valid text. Let's do a save and refresh. And there's all my click here. Yeah, there's my click here's. So I am going to pause this video and I will click a link and decide what the link is. This one is the aquaponics tour. So I'll just copy that text and replace the click here. And I'm going to do that for each one. But I'm going to pause this and then we'll start in the next video where I will have fixed each of those.